What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. Welcome back. And before I begin any further, I want to say thank you to everyone. You guys allowed the channel to get to 4,000 subscribers, as you see here. And I got to be honest with you, I don't know why this channel has 4,000 subscribers, but it's a testament to you guys. I, I just really appreciate you guys watching my stupid videos. And the only thing I can say is that uh, I, I try to provide price data for those of you out there shopping. And I try to talk about the economy. I try to talk about comic books and everything else. Vintage collection, obviously vintage Kenner. My own collection. Stuff that comes back from grading. The grading process. And it seems to resonate with you guys. And I never thought I would have 4,000 subscribers. I thought if I ever got to 1,000 subscribers, I, you know, it would be a miracle. And the fact that I've got four times that amount... And here we are. This has probably been about three and a half or so years since I started the channel. And I want to say thanks. So I'm, I'm going to give away something here. I'm going to give away a Droids Target exclusive Boba Fett. And uh, it's going to come with a case shell, courtesy of Tom Hogan, in the video description for all of my videos. I have uh, his email addresses, caseshells at yahoo.com, in case you want to get any of these kind of clamshells to hold uh, vintage collection or vintage Kenner items they fit both he also has storage solutions for black series he's got sliding acrylic hard cases but I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw this out there as a giveaway and I, you know again thank you guys for watching the channel uh, this is the target exclusive droids both it's not perfect it's got a little tiny crease on the back right here it probably won't show up and eh, you can kind of see it right there so this might be an opener but I'm gonna leave it mint in, mint on card and and send it in one of these uh, acrylic cases to, to be entered to win all you got to do is be a subscriber like this video and then leave a question or comment uh, that we can talk about in one of my subscriber Q&A videos so uh, I'll let it run for you know a week or so and then I'll announce the winner and I also have a clone trooper from Walmart the Tartakovsky animated style clone trooper I'll give that away next but uh, let's go ahead and give this one away and it's just a thank you for everyone who watches the channel and the purpose of this video is another edition of what to buy on eBay. I included loose gridded. I included some mint on card Kenner items as well as mint on card vintage collection. And then a few comic books to throw in here. Pretty wide assortment of stuff. You, you, you can see here that the, I've got a few cut cards for those of you that like those. I don't collect those personally, but there, there are a couple out there on, uh, on eBay right now for sale. So... Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dig right into all these. I can't promise that all of these are great deals, but as always, just make sure you do your due diligence, make sure the seller is legit, and make sure that you ask for lots of photos, zoom in on the photos, and, and see uh, whether they're a good fit for you or not. But let's go ahead and start off with a UKG 85% no COO Dengar. And it's labeled at the title of, of the eBay listing as a Hong Kong COO, but that's not correct. This is the no COO version so these would appear like on palatoys or palatoy tread logos and he's got kind of that purplish armor going on there beautiful brand new case style it's got five watchers right now it's listed for 100 pounds or 121 us dollars plus shipping but i thought that, that was worth showing you guys it just looks really nice in that display i do love the ukg loose graded kenner cases i think they might be the best on the market because they don't use the stupid brackets that CAS and AFA do for the large weapons. As you can see, it's got that etched accessory style case. I just think that they present really nicely. And uh, I think that CAS and AFA need to start using these kind of etched accessory cases for the larger weapons. They just don't do that now. They use these stupid brackets that look terrible, in my opinion. And along that same lines, here's another one. Here is another no COO Dengar graded UKG 85%. Um, very clean looking and s same case style, brand new case style from UKG, the laser cut cases. That one's listed for 115 Great British Pounds, so a little more expensive. So it gives you a couple of options there if you are looking for a no COO Dengar. Really nice examples. One of them's 100 pounds, one of them's 115 pounds. So if you're over in the UK, you don't have to pay the stupid shipping that we got to do, that we have to pay over here in the US for UK based items. So maybe one of you guys will like it, but. Anyway, here's the Yak Face. This is the HasLab, that came, HasLab Yak Face that came with Jabba's Sail Barge. It's unpunched and it comes in a clamshell. I would probably ask for some more photos because it's hard to tell if this has that defect 
from the printing or manufacturing process with that little half circle. It looks clean from here, but you never know. You never know. It looks like the blister does have kind of some weird wonky uh, things going on on the blister, but that might be for all of them. I didn't double check that versus some other examples, but this one's listed for 300 US dollars and it has 10 watchers. So I would expect that one to sell, but maybe just ask the seller for some additional photos. But it looks like a very clean example for the Sail Barge HasLab Yak Face. We got a CGC 9.8. This is the Phantom Menace number three. This is the movie photo variant, but this is the first full appearance of Darth Maul in comic books, the direct sales edition. Very, very nice book. Now this had been selling kind of 200 to 225, and obviously the comic book market has softened a little bit. This is listed, listed for 188 US dollars, and it's also make an offer. There are already seven watchers on this one. Uh, free shipping. I think that's a pretty good deal for Darth Maul's first full comic book appearance. And there is another cover variation that goes for a little bit more. It's kind of a painted cover, a close-up of his face. But I think that's a really good deal for his first full comic book appearance. Here's another one that I thought was a pretty decent deal. This is an AFA-85 Rebel Soldier. It is make an offer. It's listed for $200 plus $20 shipping. Uh, but this is the Hong Kong COO Hoth Rebel Soldier graded AFA-85 with the brand new case style. Very nice example. $200 plus make an offer. If you can get it for like $150 to $175 in that price point, you know, $20 shipping is kind of prohibitive. So I probably wouldn't pay, personally, I probably wouldn't pay more than $175 plus shipping for that. But he's got make an offer up there, so it might be worth throwing an offer out there. He's got eight watchers right now. Next up, we've got Star Wars The High Republic Adventures number 13. This is the last issue in the first volume. It might be the last issue, period. I don't know if IDW is going to be taking over the High Republic Adventures with a second volume or not, or if Dark Horse is kind of taking that over. I know that Dark Horse has some comics coming back soon within the Star Wars universe, but this is great as CGC 9.8. It's 50 bucks plus $13 shipping, pretty low risk. He's got four of them available, and uh, this is an homage to High Republic number one, I believe the second print, second or third print. Really nice cover, though, and... Uh, I think that's that's worth looking at. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've got a couple of cut cards. This seller has three or four available. This one looks pretty nice. So this is a Cloud Car Pilot factory sealed cut card. Uh, the, the proof of purchase is still intact. Be careful because he's got a few, or at least one, where the proof of purchase has been cut out. I think on an IG-88. I probably wouldn't buy that because that's not really a cut card. It's At that point, it's, it's kind of, you can access at least the accessories. Anyway, this is listed for 250 Australian dollars or 170 US dollars plus shipping. It's got 12 watchers right now. So if you, I'm not into cut cards, as I mentioned, but if you are, this is not a bad one. I think the Cloud Car Palette is always kind of a favorite, at least for me. And uh, that's not a terrible deal. Same seller also has this one. This is the Hoth Rebel Commander, a very clean cut card on, it looks like a 41 back. Really nice. I like that one. That one is listed for 133 US dollars <clears throat> or 195 Australian dollars plus shipping. Uh, this is one that I can't remember if we've talked about or not, but this is Star Wars 44 in a CGC 9.8 from the original Marvel run. This is from February of 1981. It's got a fantastic cover with Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader, and this is part six of the adaptation of The Empire Strikes Back, the movie. This is the first time in comics where Darth Vader reveals or discusses himself as Luke Skywalker's father. So it's kind of like a secondary key, as I talked about in, in a recent video. And it's a fantastic cover. I love this cover, absolutely. And it's listed for 265. It's got 11 watchers right now. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I, you know, this, this book doesn't have a big census number, but it's just an awesome cover. I love the background with Vader and Luke kind of fighting. It's just kind of an iconic book. Um, if you're into the vintage books, I think this is not a bad secondary key to have, to have, you know, the first time that, that Vader is referred to as Luke's father in comics. I just think it's a, it's a, it's worth taking a look at and uh, duel a dark Lord. It's just everything about that cover is just awesome. And 265 doesn't seem like a terrible price for a CGC 9.8. Here's another one, one that I think is not a terrible deal at all. This is VC-13 with the Darth Vader name pill. So it's got the Revenge of the Sith Anakin 
Skywalker with the Darth Vader name pill. It's unpunched as well. And it's got the free Boba Fett offer. It's got six watchers on it already. The seller does mention that there's a little bit of wear, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner below the blister. So just keep that in mind that it's not perfect, but otherwise it looks like a really clean card, no creases to the card at all. And to get an early VC 13 unpunched is, is a pretty good deal for 175 bucks free shipping. Again, it's got six watchers, so I would expect this one to sell. We've documented a number of examples of this one on the channel that have sold in that 175 to 250 range, if not higher. So I, I think that's a pretty decent deal. Next up, we've got the High Republic number 15. This is the first appearance of The Leveler and a, a book I've talked about at length. And I, I think that The Leveler is going to have a big role within Disney Plus content eventually. And as I mentioned, it's still cheap right now. This seller had three available. One is already sold. It's $60 plus $13 shipping. It's got seven watchers right now, including me. Uh, this is a book I definitely want to get, but this is an homage to The High Republic number one with Skier. Avar Chris and uh, Keith Trinis on the cover, but uh, really nice book. And it's got the first full appearance of the leveler. Here it is right here. First full appearance of the leveler as they appear to force users. It Again, it, it, we've talked about this on the channel before, but <clears throat> this is was released on the same day as Eye of the Storm number two, where a leveler first appears. So Eye of the Storm number two <clears throat> and this book, High Republic number 15, will go down as a tie for the first full appearance of a leveler. And I'm telling you, I've read the books. The leveler has a big role and it will make an appearance at some point within Disney Plus content. And to get it now for 60 bucks plus shipping is a, is a pretty good deal, pretty low risk. Here is a Spanish PVP Pale Face AT-80 -AT Commander Mint on Card on a Palatoy. Really nice, you can see the really pale face there. So this was made in the Spanish factory and it's listed for 250 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. It's got five watchers right now. The card's not perfect, just a little bit of edge wear, but the blister looks to be in really great condition overall. I, I think this is a buy. This is a solid buy. If I was looking to buy something right now, I would, but I just spent money on a vintage mint on card Kenner item that's already graded, and I'll show that on the channel hopefully later this week if it gets here in time. But otherwise, I think I would probably buy this. But to get a Spanish... Uh, PBP AT, AT Commander Pale Face Mint on Card for 250 bucks free shipping. Yes, please. That's a buy all day long. Next up, we've got Clone Wars, the free comic book day edition from 2011. This is the first appearance of Savage Oppress, as well as a few other characters. Fantastic cover. Opress Unleashed, free comic book day. What an awesome cover. It's got kind of like the Star Wars, Clone Wars kind of animated style to that to that uh, cover art. This was a Dark Horse comic, again, from 2011, CGC 9.8 for $285 plus shipping. It's got 22 watchers on it. And this book had been kind of hitting 300, 325 at the height of the market for comic books, CGC 9.8, Star Wars comics. This was hitting 350, even up to 400. So it's come back down a little bit. You might be able to get this cheaper in an auction, maybe 250-ish or below. But 285 is not a bad deal, I don't think, for, for this book. It's, it's got a really dark cover. Very tough to get this one in a 9.8 just because it shows every little spine tick and crease with these black covers. But <clears throat> I think that's a pretty good solid buy. And clearly the market agrees with me since there's 22 watchers on it right now. Here was another really good deal. This one just got listed. This is VC56 Kathaba Skiff Guard with the brown bandana, unpunched. Beautiful example. It's got the Darth Maul offer sticker, $99.95. It's got six watchers. It just got listed. I think this one will sell. It's got make an offer. So you can get it for maybe a little bit cheaper, but $99.95 for a first, you know, TVC 1.0 VC56. It looks to be in pretty immaculate condition. That is a great buy, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we got a, pal a couple of Palatoy Tri Logos before we finish the video off. This one is a Palatoy Tri Logo Bib Fortuna. Beautiful example. The blister's got a couple of little minor dings on it, but otherwise pretty good shape. Underneath the Made in Hong Kong in the bottom right-hand corner on the front, it's got a little dent there, but pretty clean card. You can see that <clears throat> the little crease right there on the blister, but probably like a 75 plus or maybe a low 80 grade, depending on who's grading it. Very clean card, card otherwise. 250 bucks, 11 watchers, plus it's make an offer. That's a pretty good deal. And finally, this uh, same seller also has a Palatoy Tri-Logo Prune Face. Pretty similar condition. 
and just a little bit of minor edge wear, as you can see at the top of the card, but pretty, pretty nice example overall. This one doesn't appear to have that many watchers on it, but it has make an offer. Maybe you throw a low offer on there, 150, 175, and just see what he says. But uh, to me, I think if I'm, if I'm picking between the two Palatoys, I'd definitely get the Bib Fortuna first. That's certainly the, uh, the better character to get, but this is not a bad backup if that one sells for you. But uh, really clean example of the Palatoy Trilogo Prune Face. Anyway, just a few examples uh, that are for sale on eBay right now. We got vintage mint on card Kenner and Palatoy items. We've got some loose graded figures. We've got some CGC 9.8s, as well as some vintage collection. So hopefully you found some items that work for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Thanks again for all the channel support. Be sure to like this video, be a subscriber, and comment below with a question or just whatever you want to talk about to be entered to win this Target exclusive droids Boba Fett. Thanks again, and I'll be back soon.